Right, in this video we're going to talk about getting started with IoT, the Internet of Things, uh, using Packet Tracer. What are we going to do? Well, we are going to first of all just talk a little bit about what Internet of Things are, uh, and then we're going to create a simple simulation uh, using IoT devices in Cisco Packet Tracer. Ideally, this video would be designed for somebody who's used Packet Tracer before, perhaps just to build uh, something like a local area network, but wants to take their skills with Packet Tracer a little bit further and is wondering how you use all those funny little devices in the bottom, such as smart fans and heaters and things. Uh, Internet of Things, if you've never heard of this, what does it mean? Well, as it says, Internet of Things, it is a term described to uh, connect lots of things to the internet or to networks and allow them to share data and information, uh, perhaps allow the uh, other devices to be controlled through the data that's being collected. This could be something as big as controlling all of the traffic lights in a major city based off of speed cameras and traffic uh, detection systems or cars that are advertising what speed they're doing etc. Uh, or it could be something as simple as turning off your television from your smartphone when you're at home. So here we are with a blank uh, canvas in Packet Tracer. First thing we are going to do is we're going to add a wireless device to build a home uh, network with some IoT devices in it. In this case, we're going to start with a home gateway. Now, the gateway is your typical sort of device that you might get from your internet service provider. It provides uh, a way of connecting to the internet, maybe has some ethernet ports so you can connect laptops or PC directly to it, uh, but it also supports uh, Wi-Fi. Not a lot really to say about this one. It's got a, a connection to connect you to the internet where it will get an IP address automatically. Um, it has uh, its own local area network and this as a device it has this as an IP address set up automatically. I'm just going to copy that and put it into here so we can see it better. Uh, later on so we'll see the name of it the address when we need to use it later on in our configuring a network uh, and it also supports a wireless as we say it's got a in this case just a 2.4 gig, gigahertz channel it has an SSID of home gateway and it's been configured at the moment to not have any authentication. Obviously, uh, you wouldn't do that. We're not going to set it up, but you'd want to at least at home have something like WPA2 with a passphrase on it. But we'll leave this disabled for now. Um, then what we're going to do, well, we can connect some devices to this. Uh, in our case, first thing I'm going to maybe connect is a end device. I'm going to use a tablet as a device to monitor and control some internet of things devices. By default, uh, the tablet itself, a uh, very old looking device with some buttons and things on there. Uh, in terms of its configuration, um, it has uh, Wi-Fi inside of it. So what we're gonna do is tell it it wants to go to uh, the home gateway. Uh, home gateway as a device, sorry, as the SSD, and we're going to allow it to get its IP address uh, from the home gateway, as one of the things that most home routers do is they have a, a program, a DHCP program, which will issue devices that connect to it an IP address, which is why when you join a network, you don't normally have to type in any IP addresses or anything, it just automatically configures. Let me just check, did I get that right? It was called wireless, it was called home gateway. Oh, in the background, it's just now connected. And these dashed lines are showing that there is a connection between here and here uh, over Wi-Fi. So as you can see, the IP address of the home gateway ends with dot uh, one, so it's 25.1 and the tablet has been given an IP address that's on the same network but ends with the IP address 100. So the HCP server in here has been designed to start giving devices uh, IP addresses on the same network but from starting from address 100. 
we are going to now start adding some devices. So if you've not used IoT with packet tracer, you can see there's a whole variety of things down here for you to play with, from speakers to air conditioners to doors and garage doors, humidifiers, lights, and everything you could kind of think of in a, in a sort of smart home environment. We're going to use two devices here to show you uh, a basic example of how you could maybe connect up some IoT devices to make something useful. In this case, what we've got is a siren and we've got a motion detector. As you can see by default, these two devices have been configured to work off of Wi-Fi using the, the gate, home gateway SSID uh, that we have set up on the tablet so it get, connects to the gateway. Um, these devices themselves, look at them, let's have a little look at them, a motion detector uh, as a device. When you open up the device it tells you a little bit about it, it says it can work with a registration server. What does that mean? It means that we can sort of, it can send messages to an IoT server and we're going to configure that in a minute and the home gateway is going to act as our home gateway sort of uh, IoT server. What does it do? It detects motion from um, the, the mouse. So as, you know, if you move the mouse around on the screen and you've got the Alt key held down at the time when you do that, let's just see, we should be able to make that work. So as you can see, I hover over, I'm holding down the Alt key, move the mouse over it. Uh, it detects some motion. But then you will see after a while, it's sort of gone off here and that was just part of its operation. After five seconds, it will stop sending signals to say it is on, but it will send signals to say it's off. Uh, in terms of physical connections, it's powered on. It's got a, if you zoom in, you can see here, it's got a uh, Wi-Fi adapter inside of it. So how it's connecting at the moment to the gateway, but that's about it. Um, in terms of configuration, it's been set up to automatically sort of connect to uh, the gateway and get DHCP. Uh, but we're going to tell it here that we want it to use this uh, home gateway as its IoT server. So that means when it's got messages to send, it's going to send them to this device here. And the gateway is going to have a, an interface that will allow us to sort of do things with that data and show it onto uh, the tablet. And we'll see that in a minute. The other device then, the siren, well, this one here, again, we can manually, using the alt, we can sort of go to it and click it to turn it on. Uh, it goes red here, indicating that the siren will be making some noise. If I click on it again with the alt key down, uh, it's going to turn off. So we can manually do things with that. But once again, if we have a quick look at its specification, it says works with a registration server, alt click to interact can be controlled uh, with sort of uh, single board computers uh, down here using wires as well. Um, but we're going to sort of use it over uh, a network. Physically, very similar to the looks in some ways, very similar to the motion detector in terms of the fact that it's got power and it's got uh, Wi-Fi connection to it. Again, configuration is very similar to the Zyra that's configured to uh, on the sorry, on the wireless. It is configured to go to the home gateway um, and get its IP configuration from there. If we look at the settings down here, we again will tell it that we want to use the home gateway. So that means that in this case. Um, the siren is going to be receiving data from the gateway so it can be controlled from the gateway. Okay, that's kind of uh, us all set up at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tablet and we are going to go to its desktop and run the web browser. And it will start up a little web browser application here. What we're going to do is we're going to type in the address of our home gateway so that we can see a web page that is being created on there so it's 192.168.25.1 and that page is the internet gate the iot uh, registration device and it has a password set on it and a username both of admin by default 
And when we submit those, the gateway is then uh, going to show us all of the IoT devices that are connected to it. So in our case here, we've got our motion detector and we have got our siren. So from here, we can sort of see what's happening. So if I go over to my, uh, you can see there, it's detecting that there is uh, motion. And then after five seconds, it turns itself off. Uh, here, I can manually sort of turn the uh, siren on. Uh, and off from here. So there we go, as a basic system on its own, we have got uh, two IoT devices that are sort of sending data to a gateway, and we're able to see that data on a tablet, and then we've got a tablet that's able to send messages to control the siren. Um, we can do a little bit more than that, though. We can set up what's called some conditions uh, so that we can automate some things here. So let's add a, a, an action that is going to Let's kind of get in here and see a little bit more, make a bit bigger. Okay, we're going to add an action and it says, well, let's make this be the action to turn the siren on. And we're going to say, if internet device, uh, our motion detector, IOT zero, if it is set to be on if the if it is on if it's true that it is on and what we want it to do is turn on our siren and we can say okay to that and let's add another uh, similar rule for siren off and what it's going to do is it is going to look at iot zero our motion detector and if it's on is not true, I it's off, a little bit odd the language there, then we want to set IoT ones on to not be true, i.e. turn it off. Uh, so we've got two sort of rules now that we have sort of configured. Um, we've used the web browser on the tablet to do this, but essentially what that's doing is it is changing the program of this operating how the home gate gateway is going to react to signals coming from the, the motion detector and signals that it's going to send to the siren so if we pop both of those open again and if i go down to the motion detector you can see there that as it detected motion uh, it sent the signal obviously that would have went to the gateway and the gateway is then automatically going to take that signal uh, and tell it to turn on the siren and after five seconds motion detectors turned off and it detects that and operates the second condition that will turn off the siren and here we're sort of still able to view the status of all of those let's see one more time we go over turn the motion detector on it turns the siren on five seconds later when the motion detector turns off siren turns off there you go. There's a really basic sort of example of how you would use Internet of Things devices on Packet Tracer.